old on the road of remembrance. Their families can take pride as they pass this spot knowing that this monument is for their loved ones. And the same sense of pride should extend for the unassuming person next door who continues to assist the movement. This beautiful monument is for you. Look like Bobby Sands said, everyone, Republican or otherwise, has his or her own role to play. It is only right that we recognise the important roles the ordinary people of Derry have played in the ongoing struggle for the 32 county socialist republic. This struggle has endured ebbs and flows from its inception. It's only natural. But let me be clear, perfectly crystal clear, Republicans will always adapt, Republicans will always overcome, we will always plan, we will always scheme, and we will never abandon the struggle for our full national sovereignty. Only at the rising of the moon, that will be the greatest fitting tribute we could give to those who have their names inscribed on this wall. Bergy Bua, August Arai Lindley Kayla. The Republican movement would like to place on record our appreciation to those who raise money to give their time or assist it in any way in the creation of this beautiful and befitting monument. A special thanks must be given to Gregory Crampley, Brian Gallagher and Sons, Stone Mason. Just before we finish, I would like to thank each and every one of you for attending the official unveiling of the People's Monument. It has been a fitting tribute to those who will be proudly remembered here today. Tonight at 7 p.m., the Irish Republican Prisoners Welfare Association will be holding a function in the 720 bar opposite Junior McDade House. Music will be provided by rebel singers Chris Kearney and Emer Bagan, whilst the Roberts Mellon Republican Memorial Club Band will also be playing. To finish today's proceedings, Kieran Charlo will now play our national anthem. Thank you. 